What if I told you that this was real concept art? Hello and welcome. So, when I first saw this, I saw this on the front page of Reddit when I got back today. And at first, I thought, this looks a lot like My Little Pony. And I, I've never actually watched the series, I've just heard about it. And that was the first thing that popped into my head. So I was like, there's no way this is gonna be real. So. First thing I do is check on the official RuneScape forums to see if it's actually there. And it is. It's under the Solomon's General Store. I guess not too unexpected right there. And unicorns are not really new to RuneScape. They've been around. They, there's unicorns south of Edgeville. And that's about the only place I remember off the top of my head. So the thread itself isn't actually asking if you want it in the game or not. It's actually going to be in the game. But what they are asking is... What should they name them? There are two names you could possibly suggest. So I'll link the thread in the description below along with the quick find code because I know there are people who make fake RS forum websites with a similar domain to keylog people. So for the cautionary person, I'll always leave a quick find code in the description along with the direct link. And the thread itself is under the Solomon's General Story if you just want to find it yourself. So along with today's update, well, actually, there wasn't really a big content update. It was more like a lot of small community suggested updates that happened. I'll list my favorite ones in the description, and the rest will just come right after. But the interesting thing is, if you read the patch notes, you can actually go back to the Naragi homeland, which is uh, a place you visited during the World Awakes quest. If you haven't done it, you probably shouldn't watch whatever comes after this or well you shouldn't read the text but the thing i like is that graphically this place looks pretty nice now the weird thing is even though they're coming out with the html5 or they're trying to it's going to be delayed by quite a bit because they're waiting on um i forgot how they worded it but it's they, they gotta wait on the browsers end of the site because with what they have currently they can't really achieve it so I also saw this post on Reddit where a guy took an aerial view of the Naragi homeland and it really doesn't show much new things because the area was kind of designed around the render distance that they have in the live game which isn't really that far it's like 11 squares is the distance for NPCs and then a couple steps further is the render distance for actual images such as like background, houses, that kind of stuff, the floor. So it doesn't show anything new, but I thought it was a cool little overview of the entire area. Also, apparently, I think you could see over to Bertha, but it wouldn't make sense if it was Bertha. So I think it's the troll invasion place where it's that mini game where you fight the trolls, they come through the alleyway, and on the other side would be the Naragi homeland. Of course, you would only be able to probably see it if you were in HTML5 because of the render distance. So I'll link the two images in the description below, but I kind of wanted to check it out myself. But when I tried to load the HTML5 beta, which, which worked before, but for some reason it says it doesn't work on Google Chrome for me now. But that might just be because I'm using a Mac. So that's pretty much it. So for today, I wanted to put out the Barrow's Rise of the Six um, guide. I was going to work on it. Um, should have been done today, but it's not done right now. But the problem with that is since it's not always the same like it was with the fight kiln, I kind of have to teach you how to think on your feet. And I'm not really sure how to do that unless I just tell you what things to prioritize. So... We'll see how it goes. So as always, thank you very much for watching and have a nice day.